My name is Samuel Omoe. I work as the pre-sales engineer here at Aerial Technology, and I'll be pleased to take you through uh, ZTNA uh, firewalls and how that can come in to extend your network, or not uh, to extend your cybersecurity in your networks and also for your for your data, and then that ensures business continuity for you and also compliance. Now we know that most people have endpoint security, and when we talk about firewalls and ZTNA, there's that question: What's the difference? Why do we need both? I have an antivirus. I have this endpoint solution. Why do I need to protect my network? And so, we be I begin by by saying that you have a padlock and you have an electric fence. Both are security solutions but they have different purpose. So in this case, an endpoint security is, uh, would be like the padlock. It's, but then the, the perimeter firewall ca comes to serve as the electric fence for your compound. And so when you look at this diagram here, we have the, the and the computers within the LAN would have the endpoint installed in them and then here we have a firewall so you see there is a difference between protecting the endpoints at this level and also protecting the network at this level so the firewall comes in to protect threats that want to traverse your corporate network and it finds blocks and gives alerts on those threats before they are even able to reach the endpoint now, a firewall comes in to connect the internal resources to remote users, especially with the onset of COVID, we've seen a huge increase in businesses where we have remote workers, and that has been a trend that is more, more likely to be on the up, uptrend than downtrend. And so a firewall comes in, it helps remote workers connect securely. Also helps when you have multiple branches with, to your business, it is through a firewall that these branches are, are able to connect securely. Uh, it also protects the organization network from hacks and threats and enables network admins to manage their networks. You're also able to prevent unauthorized access to a corporate network while being able to monitor and control access to company data and resources via the network. Now, we have also anti-malware protection as part of the component of a, of a firewall. When we talk about zero trust network access, there's that philosophy that you never trust, you always verify to grant access to corporate services and applications. With ZTNA, we restrict access to data and applications to, to, only, and to only authorized users. We find that data is the gold of a business. With data breaches, you have companies' credibility going down and the data is has to be protected at all costs. And previously we had implicit trust, but now we have never trust, always verify whole, uh, philosophy with ZTNA. And the way you achieve this is twofold. One with policies, policies that are applied to groups, users, and devices through one-time passwords, multi-factor authentication, through Active Directory integration, or even external servers. The policies work for the authentic authentication of the users. Who wants to access what? Is it someone in finance? Are they allowed access to HR or, or someone in IT seeking HR uh, servers? That can't be, but that is uh, uh, applied using the policies. And then we have the second way of achieving ZTNA with firewalls is the VPN. Uh, we've talked about remote workers and also off-site branches. And it is through VPN that you're able to verify which branch, which computer, which IP address, what do they want to access. And is that you always verify who it is, what device they are on, and what parts of the network, or which parts of data do they are they seeking access to. And that brings us now to Sophos Firewall. With the complexity of modern networks, there is a um, pain for the network admins to monitor, net to monitor their network, to monitor the users and devices in the within their network, to control access to the web, to control 
what data is allowed to pass into their networks and even out of that. And there's that place of management. There's that place for control, access control. And this brings us now to the Sophos firewall. And we first start talking about its architecture, its unique architecture that has the extreme processors that offloads the processing power from the hardware appliance to the Sophos cloud for machine learning analysis and sandboxing. This optimizes the firewall performance because it doesn't have to process this analysis within itself, but because it is integrated with, first it has the inbuilt threat intelligence, but also it is connected to the Sophos labs. And so the, any threat trying to come into the, uh, any threat trying to come into the network will be offloaded and will get the latest threat intelligent uh, analysis from Sophos labs and also Cisco servers. And here we can also see some of the security controls that this processor allows you to have. It, it allows you visibility into encrypted data. It has the antivirus, it has the intrusion prevention system, web app, uh, I mean web control and application control, which, which we will look at in the next few slides. That unique architecture, especially the offloading, offloading the huge processing to the cloud, allows you to enjoy hardware acceleration, enjoy um, encrypted data inspection, and enjoy leading zero-day threat protection from ransomware and threats. When we talk about encrypt encrypted data, we find that majority of the data in the internet right now is encrypted. Previously, we had only, uh, it wasn't as, the majority of the net of the data wasn't encrypted, but right now it's different. Even the hackers, the way they are trying to infiltrate the network is through encrypted means. And so we have Sophos Firewall that gives you visibility in the encrypted traffic within your network, but also because of the intelligence that is built within the appliance or within the, the firewall, it, it, it selects. It doesn't just inspect everything. It has the AI functionality where it chooses what to inspect and what not to inspect. And this brings better security and better performance. And this, especially when we talk about the extreme processors, it has a five time more, it's faster than the previous generations of firewalls. It's faster than the previous generation of firewalls. Now, I've mentioned about intrusion prevention system, and this works by looking for signs of exploits against your OS, against your network stack, servers, endpoint, browsers, applications. And this brings security effectiveness and performance. And this functionality of a firewall, it's like how we have an, in the endpoint side, we have exploit detection. On the firewall side, we have intrusion prevention system, and it works the same way, not on the endpoint level, but on the network level now. And also we have the threat protection. Uh, I've mentioned about this, we've, talk, we've talk, uh, mentioned a bit about the protection, so we'll move on. When we talk about web protection, we have web filtering policies that are, it comes as a pre-packaged policy and you configure it to suit the needs of your business. You configure that, which websites do, do your people need access to. You can even set it so customized that at particular times, this access is prohibited, let's say to YouTube, but at certain times, they, they are allowed to gain access to some of these websites. When you talk about the management of the Sophos firewall, it's purely a cloud-based solution. You don't need to install anything on your endpoint, but you access this on your browser. And it's the unique feature on this is that every Sophos product is integrated on the Sophos web console platform. Whether you have a Sophos endpoint, you have a Sophos firewall, a Sophos switch, or any other Sophos appliance, they are all integrated on the Sophos um, cloud console. And it's easy. It gives you ease of management where you're able to see threats, monitor your network, and also there's data sharing between all your Sophos appliances. You're able to monitor several firewalls. If you do have several, let's say you have a big organization, you have different branches, and there's a need for maybe several firewalls, you're able to manage <clears throat> all of them on one Sophos Central. It gives you ease because we have different vendors who have 
a different agent for endpoint, a different agent for, for let's say, a DLP data loss protection solution. You have a different console for firewall, but with Sophos, it's unique. You only have one web console that you can access all your products, all your Sophos products, and this data sharing, which brings sec synchronized security while preventing lateral movement of threats across your networks. And this is an example of a dashboard. This is what you see when you log into your software central. You're able to see the threats and the systems at risk, the unknown applications, risky downloads, risky users, advanced threats, encrypted traffic, risky apps, objectionable, objectionable websites, and intrusion attacks. There is high level of visibility into your network when you're using a software firewall. There is Nothing that happens behind the scenes that you can't see. It's all there. It's you have the dashboards you can see. This is an example of a graph. You can even generate. These are hundreds of reports built in within Sophos, and they are all freely accessible. If you have this Sophos firewall, there's hundreds of reports that you can generate, which can be used for your audits, for compliance monitoring, for prediction, and also analysis of your network security in general. We have the synchronized application control. Now, what this does is that you're able to scan. It automatically scans within all your connected devices to identify the applications installed with them, within them. It also automatically categorizes them so that you can apply policies specific to certain categories of application. I'll give you an example of social media applications. Uh, whenever, uh, now this firewall will, will, will um, scan through your network and through the devices within the network to identify all the social media apps and, contact and, and categorize them. So when you're doing your policy, when you're applying your policy or customizing them, you can apply that policy to a specific category of applications, giving you more control over your network and over what access your users are, 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 can be able to, to achieve. Yeah, I've mentioned about the reports that are built in within Sophos. Uh, yeah, I've mentioned hundreds, these hundreds of reports that are in built. You can customize. I need a report from for one month ago. I need a report for a week. I need a report for today, this one day. You, so you generate that custom report and you can use that in your own internal meetings, in your own audits, and even predict uh, the, the, the threat that which threats are um, to, to your network, which, what are you more success, success, which threats are you more exposed to? And that's the place for these reports. Now, these are the example of the policies that are repackaged within Sophos. We have the SSL inspection for monitoring encrypted traffic. We have the web filtering for, mon for controlling the uh, um, access to the internet. We have the intrusion prevention system, which prevents Hacking from through the internet. We have the app control. We have the traffic shaping, which for bandwidth, you more, you control the bandwidth usage of your network. And we have the web application firewall policies. All these come in built, and you set this up within a couple a couple of minutes. Within five minutes, you can actually set up your Sophos firewall, get it up and running, and have the default policies running and protecting your network. And then you now customize it to suit you specifically. Now, when we talk about deployment, there are three modes of deployment that you have for the software firewall. You can either get the hardware clients or you can get the, the virtual. You can get software installed on a virtual, uh, virtual machine or have it purely on the cloud, have it installed on the cloud. So it's you look up at your business. What is the most suitable option for you? Would you rather get hardware? Would you rather have it virtually or have it on your cloud? All these options are available and you, you're the one to, to, to choose for yourself. Some of the benefits that our customers enjoy from getting soft firewall is that you have the best performance and protection from the latest threat intelligence, you're able to access, you have visibility, you have the latest and also automat automated responses. You set up your firewall in such a way that when a certain threat comes, it's not, a ma it's not manual. The manual work has been reduced by about 50% where it's automated now. When threats come in, your firewall is able to respond and give you alerts that a certain, we detected a certain threat trying to come through your network, and this is what we have done. And uh, 
and yeah so thank you yeah actually you can post your questions on the chat at any point during this presentation feel free to type in your questions and we'll be glad to answer at the end so another benefit with Sophos Firewall is the ease of management where it's it's cloud based and there's that integration with all your Sophos uh, uh, products so it gives you synchronized security there's data even this uh, picture here you see there's a Sophos uh, appliance and then you have an endpoint you have a computer there it shows the software central dashboard you're able to integrate your endpoint and your firewall such that this data sharing preventing lateral movement of threats and giving you visibility and the automated responses take happen within seconds actually because you know when you have different solutions you have a firewall from a certain vendor you have an endpoint from a different vendor there may be compatibility issues but when you let's say you have a Sophos endpoint and then you have a Sophos firewall the data sharing between these two or any other Sophos product it happens so fast that the the threat can't move through the network to different uh, endpoints to your phones to your IoT devices within a matter of seconds the threat is completely neutralized and this it can't it's contained actually and then it's offloaded to the Sophos cloud for the sandboxing and even further analysis while you enjoy protection. And then the Sophos file is flexible. We have huge organizations that have branches in very diverse places, even in this country. We have a certain example, I can tell you, they have branches in Turkana, Nairobi, Mombasa, all through, it's a government agency. They have, they have a branches spread across this country in some of the very most rem remote places of this country. But the Sophos firewall is able to integrate all these branches from cities, towns, and even given you an example of Trukana. To, so it's a flexible solution for your, for your business. It's very flexible. And these are just some of the benefits that you will enjoy. Visibility, high level of protection, and automated response. Also, as I mentioned earlier, there's a 50% plus reduction in admin workload the, especially the manual workload it, there's a lot of automation going on and when you set up the policies it's up and running and there's a huge reduction and even the admin can focus on other roles and they don't have to have a lot of manual work concerning the network security when you set this up it's up it's running and it keeps you safe it protects you it also there's the updates you get from Sophos labs through the integration with the cloud and there's an 85 percent reduction in the security incidences and this is from independent surveys that Sophos has gone through this is not arbitrary data that we are using this is from independent surveys like from the nss labs that they have come up with such statistics um yeah that is all from my end uh, concerning the Sophos firewall how you integrate this to ensure network protection we can expand from where you are, we can take your business to the next level when we are talking about data protection, network protection, and even endpoint protection. We are ready to take you to the next level to, up, to extend, as we had said in the beginning. So that has been all. I hope I've been clear. And uh, you can you know, type in your questions and we'll open this up. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, feel free to type in your questions and we'll have a look at that at the moment. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you for that uh, good presentation. At least you've taken us through the features and the benefits of having Sophos Firewall. I see a few chat quick questions on chat. Uh, to the panelists, uh, you have been asked, are you able to get uh, sorry, let me see. There is a question from Fred. Are you able to get real-time alerts immediately? There is some kind of infiltration. Yeah, you get real-time alerts. You can customize this to get immediate email alerts. You you set in the admin emails, like one, two, three people, who, and you can even customize it. What kind of alert, what Next level because threats are categorized to different threat levels and uh so let's say it's a like a higher level you can actually set 
but the higher level threat to get an email for that. But the low level threat, like a, a warning concerning uh, something, but it's a low level information, you, you don't have to get an email for that. So yes, you can set up real-time alerts. I hope that's clear enough, Mr. Fred. Uh, I see there's another question from Mr. Richmond. Is Sophos Central free for Sophos firewall owners? Yes, Sophos Central is free for any Sophos customer, not even just Sophos firewall, even the Sophos endpoint customer, the Sophos uh, ZTNA, Sophos SD1, any Sophos. The, the, let me clarify, the Sophos Central is a, a web-based console. You log in through, let's say, Chrome, and you're able to get access to the management console. The Sophos Central is a management console hosted on web for any Sophos um, product, be it endpoint or firewall. Yeah, you don't pay any extra for that. Um, thank you. Is that, is that, I hope, I hope that has been clear. Yes, sir, Samuel, it's clear. The next question is about, uh, from Fred again, please elaborate on some of the key standard DLP features, the firewall as well as endpoint has in regard to data protection. DLP. Oh, uh, we have DLP uh, as part of the endpoint and the way DLP, you, you can set up ex uh, expressions. You set up expressions that are common within your data. And that is more on the, that is more achieved using the Sophos endpoint than the firewall. But when you talk about um, data loss, we talk about data loss in through the file from the network side. You set up poly, a policy. Let's let's go back there. Just one second. So you set up policies uh, that control what kind of data is allowed to pass, even ex from within your own network to the internet. So you can set up that such that it present it prevents sorry loss of data through uh, emails or through uh, what do you say transfer of data. But this is an endpoint. Now I can invite Nelson to clarify. But this is more an endpoint feature than an a network feature. But Nelson can clarify. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, uh, Samuel, for uh, that background. Uh, indeed, um, the DLP features, a fully fledged DLP for Sophos is in, it comes with the endpoint, the, so, the Sophos endpoint. So for this one, it's, uh, it's, um, it's like a managed DLP, but not exactly the DLP where you can configure the policies to um, that check the like, data classification and stuff. Yeah, so the actual DLP for Sophos is in the endpoint and not on the, the firewall. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. So there's a question I can see. Please give us some comparisons between Sophos and Fortinet. That's a good question. When we talk about Sophos and Fortinet, they all uh, say that they um, create or offer the next generation firewall. But we see some differences in terms of, uh, it especially depending, it's, a, it's, it's like a use case depending on what kind of firewall you want or for what kind of business, we see differences in terms of the pricing, maybe in what you want to achieve with a Sophos firewall or a Fortinet firewall. So this is more based on a, a per, per case analysis scenario. Uh, both are, both are offer next generation firewalls, both are world-class, they have good ratings, they both have good ratings, within the, the surveys done by international organizations for IT and cybersecurity. And then you have to check, what do you want to achieve? What are the needs of your business? 
uh, what is what budget do you want? And and with that, can then you look at both and you come to decide what you want for your business. And but there's a difference. I also talk about the Sophos Central. Uh, Sophos has the endpoint part and the firewall part, and there's that synchronization. This this kind of puts Sophos on an edge here, especially when we talk about ease of manageability, because you can actually get both endpoint high. What do you say? Like a an a. Uh, a next generation endpoint and the next generation firewall from one vendor and have the integration of both and there's that ease of manageability on a single web console and this kind of puts Sophos on an edge here when we talk about cybersecurity and ease of manageability but again we have to take this conversation deeper and analyze what needs you have and how each of these next generation firewalls can help you achieve your very specific needs. Yeah, I hope that's clear, Alex. Uh -huh. um, yeah, thank you. Just to add on what Samuel has said, uh, to us, first with the uh, Sophos and Fortinet, they are both, uh, both our partners and we provide services from both. We have not seen major, major technical advantage of one over the other. We only see that some have a better XDR and MDR, the most, most modern uh, services that they offer. And the differentiating factor would be what kind of costs would you and uh, incur to, to pick either Fortinet or Sophos. But in terms of technology, they have next generation and uh, services, and we, we don't see any working better than the other. But all you're saying is that Sophos is, has, has a very well packaged um, service growing from CyberRoom to the current Sophos XG and we, we 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 also recommend it not because basically it's not too expensive also yeah true very true thank you so much uh, so which of the files is superior yeah i think that that has been well addressed are you able to block usb devices through the endpoint via software central in a network of say more than 20 users at a go Are you able to block USB devices through the endpoint via software central in a network of say, uh, when we talk about blocking USB devices, that is device control, which is on the endpoint level. So, oh yeah, oh endpoint. So for central, it, it's not a network, we'd say you are able to block USB devices through endpoints via software central in using the Sophos endpoint solution of any size, like, you can you can have a 400 use user uh, organization and you log in to Sophos Central and you you set up it's called it's called um, Sophos Intercept X that is their endpoint so that is the endpoint solution of Sophos so you can use the endpoint solution for for device control and not the firewall but yes it is very possible to do that yeah I think I can add on that one. The intercept text um, uh, for Sophos is managed by Sophos Central. So when you're doing the policy configurations for USB, uh, you do you do them through the Sophos Central. And uh, the USB, uh, the Sophos USB, I think is divided into four. There's four categories of uh, the USB devices. One is for storage, where you have the remote drive, optical drives, floppy, and uh, and such. The other one is for network devices uh, like modems or uh, wireless uh, the wire wireless devices like wi-fi the other one the third one is for short range uh, devices like bluetooth uh, and infrared and uh, the last one is media media devices like mtp or ptp ptp devices 
So yeah, as someone has said, it's possible to to block to use a uh, intercept text, which is uh, the Sophos endpoint, to block USB devices. Thank you, thank you, Nelson. For that clarification. Uh, I have shared a link on the chat, the Google form, a very brief form that you can take uh, less than a minute to fill. And you, you give us feedback on on this uh, webinar and also give us more information on how we can work together to achieve your network security. It's a brief form. You take less than a minute and, and that would be good so that we can work together to extend your network security. And the link is on your chat. You can kindly fill that out for us and we will contact you 